Hello Little Gems and welcome to the Little Gems of Baha channel where we share with you Baha'i children's stories. My name is Shadi and I'll be your narrator. I hope you're doing amazing and ready for today's story. Today's story is the story of Abdul Baha. If you like stories of Abdul Baha, give this video a thumbs up so I know to upload more of those for you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we upload a new story. Now without further ado, let's get into the story. Leroy Iois, a young boy in 1912, was blessed to meet the master on his visit to Chicago. One day, on the way to the Plaza Hotel to hear Abdul Baha, he decided to buy him some flowers. Though he had but little money, he managed to find a large bouquet of flowers which he himself especially liked, white carnations. But in approaching the hotel, he had a change of heart. He would not give Abdul Baha those flowers. After all, he told his father. His father was genuinely perplexed. He was confused. Why, when the master so loved flowers, Abdul Baha just adored flowers? Young Leroy gave his answer. I come to the master offering him my heart, and I don't want him to think I want any favors. He knows what's in a person's heart, and that is all I have to offer. With that for an answer, Leroy's father went upstairs and presented the flowers to Abdul Baha. How the master enjoyed them, their fragrance delighted him, and he buried his face in their midst as he was inclined to do. During the talk, Leroy sat at the feet of this great teacher, completely fascinated. Those dynamic, ever-changing eyes, those majestic movements, that charm. After the talk, the master stood up and shook hands with each guest. To each, he gave one white carnation. Finally, only a few remained. Leroy, standing behind Abdul Baha, thought, I wish he would turn around and shake hands with me before they're all gone. With that thought, the master turned and saw him. Abdul Baha wore a lovely red rose, which he then pulled from his coat, pricking his finger in the process, ouch, and gave the rose with a drop of his blood to Leroy. In that moment, Leroy knew. The master was aware that it was he who had actually brought those coronations to him. Hello again, my little gems. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful story of Abdul Baha and Leroy. This is the part of the video now that I ask you questions about the story we just heard. So you can take the time to pause after each question and answer it on your own, and then unpause to hear the answer. So are you ready? Let's begin. Question number one. What is the name of the boy who is meeting Abdul Baha in this story? If you answered Leroy, you are correct. Question number two. In what city is Leroy meeting Abdul Baha? If you answered Chicago, you are correct. Question number three. What does Leroy decide to buy for Abdul Baha on his way to the talk? If you answered flowers or a bouquet of flowers, you're absolutely correct. Question number four. Why does Leroy decide not to give Abdul Baha the bouquet of carnations? If you said it's because he didn't want Abdul Baha to think that he wants any favors, that is absolutely correct. He didn't want him to think that. Question number five. Who gives Abdul Baha the bouquet? If you answer Leroy's father, you're absolutely correct. Question number six. What did Abdul Baha do when he received the flowers? If you answered he buried his face in the flowers, you are absolutely correct. 
Question number seven. What did Abdul Baha do after his talk? He stood up and gave each member of the audience a carnation. If that's what you said, then you are absolutely correct. In question number eight, what kind of flower did Leroy receive from Abdul Baha? If you answered a red rose, that would be correct. Great job, everyone. Thank you again for joining me today and see you next week in our next story. Bye, little gems.